came on board, rented the 50 kilowatt transmitter, and we carried on on, on 558. Um, here, we've re-equipped it, obviously, because these days it needs to be digital. Um, we didn't have computers in those days. That's called BCX, it's a wonderful bit of kit. All our music's on it, all the jingles, all the adverts, absolutely everything apart from yeah, the, the nut behind the wheel who does the talking. <laughs> 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 well, some stations even controls that, doesn't exactly. it? <laughs> uh, a couple of CD players, just because computers will sometimes go wrong, so we always mm -hmm. have a little backup. And just what you can see here, some of you, just flickering away in the corner, yeah. that's our router. That's our 4G link down to uh, a base in Kent. And so that router is unusual because it's actually got an external aerial circuit on. So we put the audio into it here, and then up a wire on top of the funnel is the antenna which means that it doesn't matter which way the ship is facing, yeah. we always get a, a, a stable link back to back to land. Yeah. So it all comes through the mixing desk, your computer play out, your man to do the yapping over there. Hanging in the window there is another dongle. That's incoming. So we use that to receive internet and email on this PC, so that's how we can read out all your emails. Yeah. Just like that. And keep in touch time. on Facebook and Twitter and all that sort of thing. You get quite a few, don't you? Oh. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I can tell you, this weekend it's gone absolutely crazy bonkers, and so far, since we started broadcasting yesterday morning, we've received 1137 emails. No. It's, it's, it's gone absolutely why this yeah. weekend? That's, that's why we sometimes say we just can't mention people. everybody, because yeah. you know, otherwise we'd yeah. be playing no records. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. It, it's gradually, it, it, there's a lot of word of mouth. Definitely mm. 648 coming on uh, has, has helped us a lot. Yeah. Um, but uh, as, as more and more people hear it, it it's wonderful. People mm. just, you know, they tell their friends. And, and then next time their friends are listening as well. Uh, we, we've we nearly got the country covered. I mean, it's always like the good old days of the 60s with yeah. Caroline yeah. North and South. Yeah. 648 does a good job for the South. Mm. Manx's transmitter that they lend us, the 1368, that's 20 kilowatts. That's a huge beast up there. Mm. And um, and between them, yeah. well, especially like last night, flipping between nine, uh, 648 and 1368, there was hardly any difference. There was hardly any difference here. <coughs> I've just, just, just got a couple of emails that came through, one from Scotland, Northern Scotland, and one from uh, Malahide in Dublin, and they're, they're both listing on um, 1368 and saying it's just, well, like a local station at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, um, Dublin, we were very fortunate in that in January, the other stations on the same frequency, there were three BBC local mm -hmm. stations, mm -hmm. they shut the transmitters down, they, they, they decided not to carry on with medium wave radio. Mm -hmm. So Manx's 1368 is absolutely clear now, and that's why it, it travels so well. Mm -hmm. and, and it's probably a reason why the emails are going up, you know, yeah. it's, it's yeah. more and more people yeah. finding it easier. Is there easy any chance of, of 1368 becoming more permanent? <coughs> we don't know, it's, it's up to Manx, we, we renegotiate the deal a year at a time. Yeah. So we're all the way through to the December. Do this, uh, Johnny, <laughs> It's Radio Caroline North here, live from the Ross Ravain. Joseph Issa and Sunshine Day. Got another summary record in just a few moments' time. Thanks to Frank, by the way, from Pembrokeshire for your email. And a friend of ours, Mike Cotty. Hello, Mike. I was talking about uh, bank holiday parking and a lot of people getting caught out because they think it's free. And I said, no, it's not. Not in most parts of the UK. Anyway, he says, Johnny, perhaps you can mention that where I am in Worthing, bank holiday parking and bank holiday Sundays is completely free of charge. So invite everybody down to Worthing. Well, the pint's on Mike, then we'll be down there, what, two weeks' time? It's another bank holiday. Thank you very much, Michael. It's lovely to hear from you. Right, I promise you another summary type record. Here's Glenn Fry and the heat is on. <coughs> Hey, how simple as that. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you do the radio. <laughs> yeah. Nice and short and sharp, really, isn't it? Yeah. 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 No, I just heard, Kevin, that uh, there was a chance that um, Manx might not want 1368 in the long term. <coughs> and still need some money spent on it. And so they would prefer to have DAB. Right. Uh, but last year, their negotiations with the Isle of Man government, who part fund them, Manx's uh, Manx government said, no, we're not going to fund you, DAB. Uh, but they did say, we will fund the repairs to your medium wave. Right, okay. So what we're hoping is that we originally thought uh, 1368 would shut down in 2019 or 2020. It now looks like it, it will carry on. Um, we would like to use it more. Manx are very supportive of us, but their MD sort of summed it up pretty um, succinctly when he said, I can get away with giving you a weekend a month, he said, but there will be questions asked in the House of Keys if basically what seemed to be an outsider takes over yeah. what is to the to the Manx government pretty much a national asset. Yes. Um, yeah. But we hope, you know, I mean, they, they, they are very supportive. We started three years ago just with a few a few trial broadcasts. They then said, have the next year, then the next year, 
and we're now into our, our third year. Third year. Um, so as long as the transmitter remains serviceable, and, and that was the big issue, the transmitter itself is fine, it's the aerial that hasn't had any work done on it for many, many years, and they have to replace the stay wires that keep the aerial masts up and things like that. And, and the problem that they had, the first thing they've got to do is, um, unlike our aerial, which is a lattice tower, theirs is two poles with an aerial strung between it. And to do the work on the mast, there are these, you've probably seen them up the side of the telegraph poles, there are uh, rungs mm. welded into the, into the metalwork. Well, they were all rotten. So before they could climb the mast, they had to replace all the steps. And that's what's taking them a bit of time. But they are now doing the work. So we're, we're hopeful that we'll... I think I could take a photo of that screen. Yeah, come in. Yep. Yeah.